good morning. Um, I didn't go live this morning while I was um, at the Diana Harshberger brunch, breakfast, coffee, whatever it was called, um, because it the setting just wasn't right. We were um, giving out pens to Vietnam vets, and um, it was a small venue, so it just... I didn't feel that it would be polite to do a live, but I do want to let you know what uh, I learned today and um, share with you what I discussed with her. Um, she has some some really good um, ideas or things she's she's actually working on. It's not an idea; it's, it's things she's trying to get accomplished to protect our constitutional republic, such as. Um, ending a, a lot of these three-letter agencies um, that serve no purpose except for a way to launder our tax money. Um, she's trying to get some things done to um, get our borders tightened up the way they need to be, at least to the level that they were with Trump. Um, she is trying to get a voter, an election day vote paper ballot situation which that's the only way that we're going to preserve election integrity but afterwards I went up to her and I said I want to speak to you on behalf of one of your constituents Albuquerque head today makes the 536 day that he's been in jail he was supposed to be sentenced to the one uh, count that he did plead guilty to on the 23rd of September and I can't find any information anywhere, um, news, whatever, that, that actually happened. Um, he's not getting his rights. He's not getting his privileges. He's not getting his rights as a human being. She assured me that, um, you know, she was going to check into the situation, uh, do something for him. Um, I don't know, but I was very disappointed that she didn't know his name. But at least she was willing to listen.